Dow Jones dropped about 300 points, which was the worst weekly loss since the year started. Reasons for this contribution include weak manufacturing reports in the U.S. and around the globe, showing that the global economy is starting to slow. Also, the yield curve, which usually such signals a recession, has inverted for the first time since 2007, which means short-term treasury bills mature at a higher yield than long-term treasury notes. Federal Reserve forecasts that it likely won't raise its interest rates at all this year, and a lot of banks and technology companies dropped this week, and investors are putting money to utility companies, which are usually lower risk and pay high dividends. What's going on, guys? Back here with another weekly update about my portfolio here and just real quick i know that the youtube filters if you try to filter a search uh, as in something that's posted within the last week or last month those are down because youtube has youtube is trying to combat that uh, gruesome video that was shared in the new zealand kill- killings that happened in the last week and unfortunately this is hurting a lot of small smaller youtube channels because it's YouTube's algorithm is now only recommending uh, the higher up people with a lot of subscribers and that are already release a lot of content. Um, so those get recommended more than small channels like this. So it really helps if you guys could please like, comment, and subscribe. So that way it can maybe affect the YouTube algorithm to show my channel more, and I would really appreciate it. But anyway, let's get into the portfolio and how it did in the last week. So down uh, exactly 1% actually in this past week, uh, still doing very well overall in the last three months, up almost 17%, $1,258, not too bad, but let's see how we did here. So Abvi has been on the decline really ever since I bought it in the last year, um, down $70, 22%. But it pays a very nice dividend and has a very good record of continuing to pay that dividend. So I will be holding it for the long run. Starbucks actually had a positive week. And this is a position I'm trying to add more to. But I know it is a little overpriced at this moment in time. So if this stock drops, this is one I definitely want to add to. Then we have JP Morgan, which was hit very hard um, as people take money out of institutions like this down six percent in the last week uh i am down on this position as well but definitely will be in this for the long run fedex uh, had a very bad earnings report past month down uh definitely not one of my better positions otter tails also down this week but um, as people put more money into energy and utility companies we'll expect to see this bounce back up Boeing, this has also been all over the news the past month, and like I predicted, until Boeing actually releases the reason for their uh, airplanes crashing, I do expect this stock to continue to decline until they actually submit that report on what exactly happened and why their two of their jets have gone down. Uh, people will be very skeptical with Boeing going forward. Pepsi has done very well, uh, up to 120 here. Done very well in the past week. Definitely one of my better holdings here, and may even look to add to it. The Riem, huge conglomerate company, makes over 55,000 products. Is down one and a half percent this past week. Still up on the position overall. We have United Healthcare, a company I recently bought into because there was a lot of short-term friction on having a single-payer tax-payer system, but it bounced back after that. Um, pretty content with my position in this for now. Don't want to making up too much of my portfolio, but I do think it is a good stock to have. And this is another utilities company, Southern, only on one share, but it has been going up a lot just in the past three months it's up uh almost 15.38 percent which is a lot for a utilities company definitely don't see that type of growth usually 
and pays about a 5% dividend. Verizon, which has been doing very well. See, if you notice a pattern, it's a lot of these high dividend yielding companies have been doing very well recently. Microsoft, one of my favorite stocks here, has been down in the past, or actually been up in the past week, but down on Friday. And then we have Medical Properties Trust REIT, which focuses on uh, owning healthcare real estate uh, related properties. Very good company to own. Uh, definitely trying to add into this position as well. Iron Mountain stock I've been thinking about getting out of just because I don't think it will be able to sustain that very high dividend that it pays for the foreseeable future. ExxonMobil, another uh, company that fluctuates a lot based on the cost of oil. MasterCard, one of my newer positions, still up ever since I bought it within the last month. Um, and I also want to add into this, but is a very pricey and probably overpriced. Now, CSX, I shared this in my railroads video that I put out. Definitely see a lot of future growth for this company. Uh, a lot of short-term news about some flooding in Nebraska and various other parts of the United States that is affecting their rail lines, but hopefully that gets cleared up here shortly. And then the last stock that I'm sharing with you guys is United Pacific, UNP. And they are also having the same issues as CSX, a lot of flooding in the Nebraska area, which is where UNP is actually headquartered. It's causing a lot of short-term rumble and definitely am hoping that it gets cleared up here soon. But that does it for the portfolio for this week. Do expect the stocks to continue to decline uh, for the reasons that were mentioned earlier in this video. But I will continue to be adding money into this portfolio over the long run. And uh, please let me know what you guys want to see. And if you like this video, thanks guys.